You know, this morning I was sitting here thinking like, I had a chance to call this one girl, I should have done it. And then I walked right by her in the city. She's like, I'm mad at you, you didn't call me. I'm like, that's my bad. I would go back, march up to him and tell him I think he's beautiful. <laughs> There's this really cute guy on the subway that was reading this graphic novel, and I was like, oh. Um, <laughs> I mean, hindsight's 2020. If you miss an opportunity, if you see that sign come back again, you take full advantage of it. Daniela. Daniela. <laughs> I'm a journalist and a tennis instructor. Tell me about dating in New York. Oh gosh. <laughs> um, yeah, it's pretty lonely. It's weird. It's There's way too many people, but everybody's kind of doing their own thing. I've had a few relationships. Some went well, some didn't. And throughout that, through heartbreaks and stuff, you know, especially after the last one, the last one was a pretty intense heartbreak. So after that, like, my confidence and everything just crumbled. So what made you feel like you had a missed connection? Well, it was cool that he actually seemed to like me and that I was actually, we were gonna get each other's numbers and we were gonna go to brunch. But then of course, after my friend interrupted us, um, you know, it just kind of didn't happen. So now I'm kind of stuck. I know where he does his laundry, so I got that going for me. Hi. Hey. So there's this guy that comes here. Um, I was here last Thursday and he was here as well. And I've noticed him a few times. He's tall, he's about 6'2", I wanna say. Maybe he's a little taller. He has dark hair, he has kind of like, kind of scruffy. He always wears headphones and he, oh, and he has a yellow hamper. Why are you looking for him? Well. <laughs> Hey, hey have, uh, what's what's the word? Have you been able to find Paul? What's going on? Yep, we found him. We got his roommate in on it, too. He's gonna get him down there for us tomorrow. Tomorrow? Yep. So, it's a go! Okay! I guess I didn't really think I was gonna get this invested, but I've been spending a lot of time with Daniela the last couple days, and the more that I get to know her, the more that I'm thinking, you know, I really want this to go well for her. She's being so brave! I'm his best friend and roommate. I love that guy. He should get a date. I think it's awesome. I mean, what a cool way to give someone your number. Look, you look stressed out, so it's just like... Yeah, I mean, I'm freaking out a little bit. Hello. Hi. Are you Paul? Yeah. Good. <laughs> so last time he tried to get my number, it didn't really work. So I wanted to make sure you got it this time. Oh my god. <laughs> but the okay. last digit. <laughs> you should. <Yeah. laughs> So uh, I guess we should like go on a date now, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
I was really worried in the beginning that it was going to just be weird and maybe creepy, but I think it, I think it turned out great. Not a typical laundry day. Yeah, I get to hang out with a beautiful girl now. I was scared to approach her before, and sometimes when you want something, you just have to go and get it. 